my top 10 movies of 2016. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I'm late to the party. Even the flick pick has his top 10 video outs. But hey, uh, better late than never. At least it's still January for like another day or so. So let's just get into it. It's my top 10 movies of 2016. Number 10, hell yeah. Kubo and the Two Strings, a movie with Matthew McConaughey as a samurai beetle man. It's got beautiful stop motion and it's basically the Legend of Zelda movie, except it's not The Legend of Zelda. Number nine. This one ought to be pretty good. Hacksaw Ridge, Mel Gibson's directorial return with this gruesome World War II epic about a soldier that refuses to use a gun. Oh, and uh, Andrew Garfield, he's phenomenal. Number eight. Wonder what it is. Deep Water Horizon, director Peter Burke, puts together a movie that doesn't bog you down with too much setup, it doesn't glorify the action, it just tells a story, and it uh, it also makes you feel things like anger and shame, and it was, a, it was a surprisingly great movie. Number seven, Star Wars. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I've seen it twice, it's good, it's exciting, it uh, makes A New Hope a better movie, it makes Darth Vader a badass again. With the paper-thin characters in the Rogue One crew, it just keeps me from ranking the movie higher on my list. But still, it's a good movie. Number six. Did that sound epic? Ten Cloverfield Lane. Don't ever get stuck in an underground bunker because, uh, well, you know, things could, uh, they could get a little weird. This movie was tense, it was claustrophobic, it kept you guessing, and I really liked it. Number five. Ooh, we're getting close. Manchester by the Sea. Not the most uplifting movie of the year, but uh, it's just so well done. So it's got to be on my list. Casey Affleck, uh, that dude might be onto something. Great acting all across the board with this movie. And uh, it's a movie that just kind of sticks with you. It sinks into you and you think about it a lot. And then, um, and then you get kind of bummed out. What number are we on again? Oh, wait. Number four. Deadpool. It's kind of like the uh, the comeback kid. The marketing for this movie alone was better than the actual X-Men Origins Wolverine movie. That movie sucked. This movie version of Deadpool, it was awesome. It was funny. It was self-contained. There was no city-destroying sky beam of death like every other blockbuster movie these days. Uh, and it was, just a, it was just a good movie. It was crude, and it was everything we wanted and needed in a Deadpool movie. They got the character right. Number three. Oh, man, I'm getting nervous. La La Land, it's singing and dancing and hopes and dreams and music and movies and Hollywood and Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. What more could you really want? There's a lot of things in this movie. There's a lot of things to like, and uh, it was a blast to watch. Plus, we almost had Miles Teller instead of uh, Ryan Gosling. No, no way. No way could Miles Teller ever score a sweet, wonderful woman like Emma Stone. No way. He's way too weird looking. Number two. Oh man, this is it. Captain America Civil War. What? It's not number one on the list? Hey, it's at number two. That's that's still very respectable. I love this movie. It was Tony Stark's worst day ever. It was Captain America proving that uh, he'll do anything for a good bromance. And there's the repercussions from the events of Avengers Age of Ultron and the new Spider-Man. His eyes move! Even though he was only in the movie for like 10 minutes. But still, his eyes move! Dun 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 dun! Number one. I did not think I would be putting some indie movie at number one on my top 10 list of favorite movies 2016. Uh, but I guess I'm just that hipster now. But anyway, the movie is Sing Street. What? You've never heard of Sing Street? Let me tell you about Sing Street. It's warm and fuzzy. Uh, it's got a rock and roll spirit. So I'm a sucker for that. And it's super Irish. Like, really Irish. There's a lot of Irish people in the movie. And it's also got a really good soundtrack. And the movie, it's just a good movie. It makes you feel good. It makes you want to get up and, and, you know, shake your hips a little bit. And it's just stuck with me since I saw it a couple months ago. And uh, I just enjoyed the hell out of it. So it's number one on my list of top ten movies of 2016. Sing Street. It's on Netflix. Go watch it. So there you go. My top 10 movies of 2016. Like uh, a month into the year. I'm sorry. I'll be timelier next time. 
Pretty solid year for movies, though. Uh, even though I didn't get to see everything, like uh, like that movie, and that movie, and uh, also didn't see that one either. Uh, 2017, I'm looking at you. You better be good. I'm Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Dunkirk. Come on, Christopher Nolan. Hook us up. Hook us up with the good movies. Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Come on, guys. Please be awesome. What's your top 10 movies of 2016? Tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And see you. Bye.